demonstration of orbital welding with the 38 weld head. Goes from three millimetre up to inch and a half. Change collet size. We've got this one set up for inch and a half tubes that you've sent down. We'll just uh, open the weld head. Here you have your um, inch and a half tube, which I've cut and faced, as you can see, nice clean square edge. So we put that into weld head, we line that with the tungsten. Square tube goes into the other side, make sure it's on line. Nice and close, tight fit. Close those together. We have our perch line. Goes in. Perch bung the other end. Okay. So that's now ready to weld. We've set the tungsten already, which I'll go through um, very easy at the end. It's auto program, which means uh, setting up a program from the computer, from the data that's held in the power supply. Press menu. Press new, it's an eye joint. We then change the diameter, 38.1, bore thickness, 1.6. Changing the left side here is one side of the tube. Change the right side, automatically changes with whatever you set on the left. If you have two different bore thicknesses, you can then adjust this one on the right, becomes two different wall thicknesses. But we're going for the same, so yes. You select the weld head, which is 38, yes. How many levels? When the tube's in horizontal position, like this, we pick four levels. Continuous mode, which means the motor goes speed, turns the motor continuously, rather than step mode, like you would maybe on fixed materials. And that's now programmed, calculate new program. We have to wait and not touch the screen while this program data is loading. That's now loaded. Gives you new program position four. You can change, you press that, it's now position four. You can actually give that a different number. You can give it a double program name. So we can put whatever we want in here. So three, eight, point one. Millimeter by 1.6. Oh, thickness. So that's now named. Select that. So now we have the name come up here. Just for easy reference, you can change that to whatever you want to see by the keyboard. So that's the program. These sectors here are the different levels. So while it's all kind of shades of yellow and orange, it means anything we touch on here. Will actually affect the whole program but if we just want to adjust one level we select the level we want to adjust the rest are grayed out so whatever you change on here now will only be for that level to get back go there so i'm not going to change anything i've set the tungsten up we've done an auto program so what we'll do now is we have to press the go button and it'll weld this is actually orange which means it's in test mode so we press the green arrow so we find the strike button here so this green, this arrow here, the blue arrow, you just press these through and you see the icons changing. So this is to home the rotor, this is to check your gas, this is to rotate the rotor backwards or forwards for changing your tungsten maybe. Then you've got your menu, this is your document, so you've got a USB stick. So we have like a USB stick here that we can put in the back of the machine and we can data log all the welds to that USB. Press it out again, and here we have the strike button. That's red. You hear it beep, that's now green, and the go button is green. So we are ready now to actually then just press the green button and weld. Now we're ready to weld. So we've got the green button, okay? Haven't changed the program. We've got the purge going in. We can feel that inside. That's the motor homing. Homed. Now, this is your weld head flow. 
on here that says 16 about like 15 16 for this weld head it's now purging 30 seconds and once that's uh, finished it'll strike the arc strike the arc now welding round and you'll see on the screen the actual position of the weld now beeps so it's on level two so it beeps at every level change this gives you uh, your arc voltage travel speed roughly and then uh, the kind of high amps it's now coming up to the end of the weld so now it's going into a slope three degrees three seconds two seconds sloping out to a nice finish now it's finished the slope it's now doing the post purge 30 seconds and then we can uh, turn the purge gas off and we'll have a look at the weld bung out Bung out. And we've got a weld. Okay. What we can do now is put another pipe in to show you. Now we've programmed the machine. It's all set up. We should. Two pipes in, so put a purge in. Clamp down, upside in, nice and tight, clamp together. Purge along that side. Just, and then we collect our purge. Purge is flowing. And we're ready if we're happy with that weld. I think it's a little bit too hot on the last level. So adjusting it. I believe the last weld was a bit too hot. So what I'm going to do is on this eye current, we can actually reduce all the amps down and I'm going to go to 95 cents. So I've reduced the heat of the amps by 5%. Press go, that'll calculate, and then we're good to go. We've adjusted the amps for the whole program, lowered them down, so just press go again. So we're back to the purging, pre purge, and that'll strike an arc. It'll have a start delay for a few seconds to get the heat in to the weld. Then it starts doing the weld, and we'll see how this one compares at minus 5%. But that's how quickly between welds you can be set and adjust in the program if you need be. Once we've got this weld set and the, we're happy with the weld, the program is in there, stored automatically. So you then just recall that program each time you want to weld inch and a half tubes. Coming to the end of the weld now, we've leaving a less amps, going to slope, then purge, and then we can uh, take this one out and see what it's like. So finished purging, the weld head's honed, take the purge out, unclamp, unclamp, and we see here Nice weld, just a bit of light hazy gold around the weld. And inside, what we do is we're going to cut this now and have a look inside and see what the weld looks like inside. So, cut the pipe, put the torch up there, and then hopefully you can see as I twist that round, it's nice and clean inside. Perfectly clean. And that's your weld inside. 
nice and flat so you can't see it really absolutely perfectly flat inside and nice and flat on the outside so that's inch and a half done